up till now. One thing you must be very careful about at this point in time is the friends you keep, the company you find yourself in, the church you attend, the pastor you submit to, and the messages you listen to, including what you watch. Most of these are unfortunately designed to poison your soul to hellfire. This pastor friend got carried away with the I feel alright messages that never transform lives, but rather transfer souls to hellfire instead of helping them to strive to enter heaven as Christ commanded. Luke chapter 13 verse 22. I did everything possible to persuade this pastor friend of mine to remain on the narrow path which leads to heaven. The wave of another gospel which he followed didn't allow him to listen, and he kept away from it. This is one of the signs indicating that one will ultimately be destroyed or damned in hellfire. You become their enemy for telling the truth meant to save them and others. For a period of time, I never saw this pastor friend again. Neither did I hear from him. One day, the wife called and broke the news of his sudden death to me. She said he suddenly began to vomit, stool blood. As he was being rushed to the hospital, he gave up the ghost on the way. After just a few days, I was given a revelation of him in hellfire. It is always a heartache to narrate how I saw this pastor friend in hellfire on that everlasting torment, a condition I could not help him from, despite his beautiful cries. When he asked me to beg Jesus to give him another chance, I tried to do so, but it ended up in a church. The Lord said to me, Hell has entrance. It is a place where mercy and grace have inspired. So I brought you here as a living witness for the living and not the dead. I then asked the Lord how long we will be in this type of times. He replied, For the Whenever the Lord mentions the word forever, the sound rattles and shakes of the entire place. People will scream and shout. The word forever is the most dreaded word in hellfire. Jesus said to me, One humanity going to hellfire is a personal decision and choice. Now, if you end up in hellfire, God, who is love, definitely did not send you there. You chose to be there. By not repenting from your sins and accepting the Lordship of Jesus Christ. You also cannot claim to have accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior while living in willful sin. A pastor that does not preach against sin and hell fire is already a firewood for hell fire. If Jesus Christ himself preached against sin and hell fire, calling sinners to repentance and you are doing otherwise no matter how highly esteemed you are in the eyes of men hellfire awaits you you cannot be anti-christ and at the same time for christ my pastor friend was in hellfire because he followed the broadway friends are you in a broadway church or under a broadway pastor surely they will pastor you too and in hellfire, if care is not taken. The Broadway cannot lead to heaven. No matter how you look at it, a crossless life is a cursed life. Since the churches that are falling away began to preach the message of the cross upside down, look at the type of Christians they are producing. The Lord referred to them as firewoods for hellfire. You can be a cut of branch waiting to dry up, but because you are still green, which is but for a moment, you think you are okay, since you still go to church, sing in the choir, do other church works, or even preach. Jesus said to me, 
What you have in most churches today are caught off branches which are firewoods for hellfire. This morning, a sharp cry from hellfire woke me up. Satan is working so hard. That is why, rather than repenting, people are backsliding the more. Evangelism or soul winning is no longer the passion. The harvest is ripe, but the laborers are few. How much of your time and money goes into genuine soul winning? When did you last cry? Because you know your family members will miss heaven if the rapture occurs now. This morning's experience which I had increased my hatred for Satan, sin, and his works. All Broadway ministers are false prophets. Grace that gives you free ride in sin makes you an accident that must happen in hellfire. Seeking the kingdom of God and his righteousness first, and all the rest added unto you is the standard of the true gospel. God promised to add all good things you need in this life, but they do not come first as they do not possess eternal value. When you make them first, they become gods competing with God. If Jesus requires you to pluck off your eyes, cut off your hand and leg, if they will constitute hindrances to your making it to heaven, rather than going to hellfire with your whole body, what do you think? Locate straight gate churches and ministers and connect with them. Flee from deceivers before it's too late. Apart from the rapture, do you know if this could be your last day or the last genuine message that will be coming to you? Get wise and genuinely repent. When you are reconciled with God, you stand better chances of getting His promises of blessings fulfilled. Sin exposes you to Satan's destruction now and for all eternity. Read Matthew chapter 7 verse 13. My pastor friend said to me, beg Jesus to give me another chance. I know he's your friend and will hear you. But the fact is that in hellfire, prayers are not answered. My friend, Jesus did not answer my prayer in hellfire. He's sending me to you now. Let as many as possible get this message also. You are supposed to be a candidate of heaven not hellfire. That is why this message is coming to you. My pastor friend was so gifted and anointed. I saw so many anointed and gifted people in hellfire like my pastor friend. His prophecies were so accurate and his spiritual giftings superb. The Lord said to me, Son, many anointed and gifted people are here in hellfire, but no single Christian. Many claim to be Christians, but are deceiving themselves. I do live in genuine Christians, and they live my life, no more theirs, in true holiness and righteousness. When I was living hellfire with Jesus, my pastor friend cried a cry that caused tears to stream down from the eyes of the Lord in mine. My pastor friend cried, are you leaving me here forever? How did I end up here? And this is not going to be just for a moment. Jesus took hold of my hand as we were leaving because I was dragging my feet hoping he would change his mind. But in eternity, everything is fixed. Please, Spread this message in the urgency of heaven and in the spirit of love. Let it go round the whole world. It will be someone's last chance with the signs all over the world pointing to the master's imminent return. Angels do not preach the gospel, neither do they win souls. It is your duty and my duty to snatch souls from hell fire by all possible means. 
join Operation Snatch Them From Hell Fire now. This message must get to the ends of the world through your determinate actions and instructions. When I woke up this morning after seeing how the devil is fast dragging souls to hell fire with a net as big as the whole earth, a voice said to me, only those truly on fire for Christ can be a match for hellfire. The Lord Jesus says, Behold, I come quickly. This urgent end time last call from Jesus Christ to repent has come with love to you through his living witness. Witness can Paul Obieke. Escape today from had I known. Eternity is forever. God bless you and please.